dear listener. Well, that was a much needed break because old Remy had to put a little more fuel on the fire today. <laughs> and thankfully, my producer Gilbert. Uh, thank you, Gilbert. He was kind enough to bring me in a full thermos of coffee. Your hits the spot. You all out there know what I'm talking about. This you do. Oh, and Nancy wanted me to remind you that Tasty Patisserie is still filling orders for king cakes for the upcoming Mardi Gras festivities. Now you tell her Remy sent you, and it's buy two, get one free. Can't beat that. So go on over there and tell her I sent you. Hmm. I know, I know I'm not supposed to enjoy my coffee on air. <laughs> Oh, Gilbert's turning red, folks. <laughs> oh, I tell you, we like to have our fun with this one. And that's what Mardi Gras is going to be all about. Good old-fashioned New Bordeaux F-U-N. And if I sound a little enthusiastic, well, I'm sorry about it. But I... <laughs> a lot of nights for the 10th year runner. We got a heck of a flow plan for y'all, and we have spared no expense in strutting our stuff. Now, this will be my first crew since my dad died last year. Dear listener, you know how important Mardi Gras was to him. God rest his soul, he was one of the crew of Knights Fighters. He was captain for more years than I can remember, and daddy was wrecked back in 1932, for those of you whose memories go all the way back then. Oh, you know, I'll tell you, he'd spend weeks, that months, preparing. Mm. More than anything else, it was the tradition, the feeling of being part of something, of this city that he loved so. My father believed that every man had his role to play, and every role contributed to the greater whole. Those Reds over in Russia, even the ones here at home, they try to sell that as equality. <laughs> no, sir. There's always gonna be a king. And each king has his day. <laughs> okay, that coffee sure is fine. On the next episode, you better believe we're gonna talk about this here story that President Johnson is considering a deal with the Russians to scale back our nuclear program. We're gonna have that and a lot more Right here, Native Son. you doing up here? Help goes into the back. I'm, uh, I'm here to see Mr. Marcano. The name's Lincoln Clay. That a fact? I'll be goddamned. Mind your manners while you're in there, boy. Or they'll be hell to pay, you hear? Park over to the side. Man, get a look at you. I bet those fucking gook shit themselves when they saw you coming. Been a long time, Georgie. Oh, no shit has been a long time. I think the last time I saw you was that night over in the French ward, right before you shipped out. <laughs> Damn it, that wasn't a gas. Oh, I seem to remember me and Ellis running from the cops, uh, and Danny ending up in the drunk tank. Hell, man, I bailed him out. Besides, just worth it to knock the hell out of them cracker assholes. <laughs> Smoke? Sure. <laughs> oh, man. Sammy said Mr. Marcano wanted to see me. Mr. Marcano? Shit. Make him sound like a goddamn lawyer. You just call him Sal. Come on, he's in the back. <laughs> I 
should have wore something else. Hey, these squares have a problem with Joe Threads. You can take it up with my old man. He'll tell him to kiss his ass. <laughs> nice thing about having fuck you money. Olivia, I hate to cut this short, darling, but I've got a meeting coming up. Remy, a pleasure as always, sir. Two more glasses. <laughs> Lincoln, good to see you. This is Vito Scaletta. He's the one I've been telling you about. Come on, Lincoln, sit down. So you served in Vietnam, huh? Yes, sir. Sal tells me uh, you're on a few pieces of tin over there. Well, I served with some good men. Nothing I did would happen without them. Army? Marines? Regular army at first, and then I was recruited to the 5th SFG. Special Forces. I told you it was something else. Now, not that anything's gonna go wrong, but just in case, goddamn, don't you want a man like that on your side? Well, if you're vouching for him, Sal, that's good enough for me. <laughs> Look, I got a couple things to take care of. Thanks for the drink. Christ, that guy's an asshole. <laughs> Fucking carpetbagger. Commission sent him down here from Empire Bay about 15 years back. He's been a pain in my goddamn ass ever since. Well, I guess you're wondering what this is all about. Yeah, Sammy didn't tell me too much. Twice a year, the Feds take old money out of circulation and destroy it. Over the course of the next few days, that money's gonna be delivered here to the reserve in town. And you're gonna hit one of those shipments? <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. We are gonna use that occasion to gain access to their vault. And then steal everything that ain't nailed down. <laughs> Should be six, seven million in there, easy. <laughs> that's, that's pretty fucking ballsy. <laughs> it's a chance of a goddamn lifetime is what it is. Now, Vito's fronting a lot of the money for the job, and he got us the combination to the vault. Have you had a chance to see Danny? No, not yet. Oh, well, you will. We brought him and his old man in on this, and they're gonna need your help, so go see them. They ain't still in that same place. There's something else we gotta talk about. Now, it's safe to assume you know about the problem Sammy's been having. I took care of the Haitians. Once things settle down, money will start coming in again. You see that right there? That's what I'm talking about. You didn't sit around with your thumb jammed in your ass. You saw a problem, you went out and took care of it. God damn, I take that over money any day of the week. We pay our own way, debts and all. Always have. Oh, hell, son, I know that. I wouldn't expect otherwise. But you know, even after we all evened up, you're still gonna be slopping around in the ass end of this city. Not much of a future in that. But maybe there's a different way forward, you understand? For all of us. What'd you have in mind? I want you to know I mean no disrespect when I say this. Sammy's a hell of a man, but he's not getting any younger. And I'm thinking it's time to make a change. Well, I don't think that Ellis is ready for that kind I'm of not stuff. talking about Ellis. I'm talking about you. I want you to run the holler. <laughs> I can't do that. Well, look here, if you're worried about Sammy, don't you understand? Now, he's always been on the level with me. And this job we're talking about, there's more than enough for him to retire on. He took me in when I had nowhere else to go. He treated me like a son. I'm sorry, Mr. Marcano, I, I can't do that to him. Well, shit, son. I'd be lying if I didn't say I wasn't just a little disappointed. But I get it. You're loyal. Which is something that is scarce these days. Do you still want me to help with this thing we've been talking about? <laughs> you goddamn right I do! <laughs> and when it's all done, you all be more than square with me. You have my word. What do you really want to hear? That we'd kidnap and torture anyone suspected of working with the VC? I'm trying to ascertain the level of training that Lincoln Clay received during his time in Vietnam. Someone like that you don't need to train. You point them in the right direction, you get the fuck out of their way. 